to the Press for Conversation podcast. I'm your host, Mr. Layback Court. I got my special guest, and he's a great special guest. My guest, Chaos. What's going on, man? What's up, y'all? Let's talk about it. I'm in the building. We about to get up, talking man? in your hair. And I got another special <laughs> guest, man. She's a beautiful up-and-coming fashion model, man. She has her own hairline, the Butterfly Fact. We're going to talk about that as well. Now, I'm going to get your name right. Okay. Lanasia, right? No. I'm sorry. No, it is Zanasia. 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 Z with a Z. But Z. you guys can call me Z. Okay. It's kind of easier to pronounce. All right. Zanasia White, what's up? <laughs> I told you it'd be hard for me to give uh, what names nowadays. It's you know okay. what I'm saying? It's okay. That so, one is a really out of the box name. Like, my mom was a little creative with that one. That's, that's, that's okay. So, tell us about this butterfly f- effect. So the butterfly effect was a company I started during quarantine, um, which was really supposed to be like just making wigs and installing them. But I kind of fell off of doing that once I started modeling. So I really got to get back into that. But modeling became my focus because I just fell in love with it. Like once I started it, I just had to keep doing more shows, more photo shoots. Like that was just like that is still now it's still like my driving force right now. I just love modeling. It's just so much fun for me. So what made you get into the lifestyle of modeling? Um, again, this happened last year, like 2020, but, um, if we really want to tell the real story, uh, I had just got a relationship and I was just like really, really sad. And then I was scrolling, you know, scrolling through Instagram and I saw this little, um, casting call for a show. And honestly, I was just like, fuck it. I have nothing else to do right now. I'm either I'm going to sit at home and be sad or I'm going to just go out and do something with my life. So I went out, did the casting call, you know, end up getting the show. And then ever since then I've been modeling and I've been loving it. So shout out to her ex, you know? Right. Like, shout I, out to low her key, ex. Low key. Shout out. <laughs> he definitely. I mean, I don't know. I feel like sometimes, maybe it's just my personal opinion, but I feel like heartbreak is like the best. Um, what's the right word for it? It's like motivation. It is. It's like the best motivation. It really is motivation. Like some of the best type of albums we've ever mm-hmm. heard, some, some of the best books we've ever read, some of the best movies come from a breakup. Yeah. It's, it's like so inspiring. It's, it's so hurtful. It makes you tap into things that you've never tapped into before. Exactly. It's like a whole different level of emotion that you tap yeah. into. And it mm-hmm. just brings so much. If you If you channel it right, it can bring a lot of positivity there you to your go. life. Because sometimes we get lost in that dark yeah. place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In a small amount of words, explain to us what's your definition of fashion. Um, hmm. fashion for me is um, I think everybody has their own level of fashion, but I think that it has to be something from inside. Like I notice a lot with this generation in general that people like to copy each other. You know, they like to just look. They all want to look the same, and I think the whole point of fashion is you're showing your individuality, and you're showing how different you can be and how beautiful that can be like i know people say the modeling industry is you know it's pretty um skeptical of how they want girls to look like they want all the girls to be skinny but really if you look at the models they all have different aspects of them that make them so different from one another and that's what i love about fashion about the modeling world because like something that you might hate about yourself might be something that the people like out in the real world just love like you know what i mean no, but absolutely I, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I want no, I wanted to that's a really good question Corey. Mm-hmm. that was a great question i want to ask you what is fashion to you Fashion is to me is art. It's mm-hmm. uh, it's art, and it's 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 a great sign of like I said, it's a great sign of, of, of art. It's creation. You right. know what I'm saying? Putting it, it's like putting together a great masterpiece. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's thoughtful. It's yeah. mindful, and it could be like I said, it's confidence. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because some, like I said, it helps with confidence. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it brings out the structure of the of the human being. It, yeah. That's that's how I look at fashion. I um I was just having a conversation with one of my girlfriends today about what fashion is because I was we were kind of talking because I you know New York is on my mind really heavy Ooh, yeah. right? I love New York. I love New York and a uh, New York allows you to what fashion is is it's an expression. It allows you to be able to express yourself. And what I noticed in New York was people are able to be whatever they want to be. So if that's me being like with um, parachute pants and a hollow shirt, that's my fashion that day. Versus in Atlanta, fashion is labels. And mm-hmm. in Detroit, you have to have like, you, we, we do want to look like, especially here in Detroit, like we all got to have on Jordans, we got to have on blue jeans, Buffs. nice shirt, you got to have on your bus. <laughs> it's only one look. And that's, yeah. that's not fashion. Right. It really isn't. Mm-hmm. Fashion, you really have to show 
you're showing the world who you are like underneath you know you're, yeah. it's a different layer of yourself that you're bringing you have the confidence to bring that's why you have to have confidence in fashion because you're showing your true self really yeah. Yeah. now you being a model yourself I have to ask you this question what do you feel about plus size models mm. do you figure they get the same same uh, do they you think they have the same opportunities as a slimmer model as yourself do you think they get the same okay. respect do you think they seem do you think do, how how do you look at plus size models um plus size in detroit is a good thing because i feel like especially with casting out here they look for the more plus size more thick girls because that's what's in the market right now like everybody you know it, this has been going on for a year but everybody really wants a thick girl so but um modeling and like I th- new york and stuff like that yeah they do look for more of the skinny and tall i mean i'm skinny but i'm not that tall like i'm five three i have long legs but i'm really not that tall in general so i've gotten like cut just because i'm five three. five three yeah <laughs> i've gotten cut just because i'm five three they'd be like no you're not tall enough or like get taller heels and stuff like mm-hmm. that so it it kind of depends on which market you're trying to go to especially if you want to be on instagram i mean being thick is really the wave to go like but is that is that modeling or what industry would you be, you know, called to to be thick like that? And mm. is that like Vibe magazine, Source magazine? Is that club girl stripper? Because that's a new thing too, like the stripper models. You know, yeah. it's Strip- so many worlds. That exactly, and I feel like this the um, plus size girls. I don't. Uh, I think it is kind of harder for them though. Like okay. if you really, if you really want to be honest, it is kind of harder for them. But also. They have their own market that even us skinny girls can't get into. Mm. Mm. Outside of modeling and fashion, who is Zanisha like? Um, to be honest, I am a introvert at heart. I love to be at home. I love. <laughs> I, I'm a homebody. I really do. I love music. I love like honestly. I'm in love with any type of art form. So if I'm by myself, I'm listening to music, or I'm singing, or I'm painting, or I'm writing and stuff like like stuff I can express myself. You know, without um actually speaking to people. <laughs> Uh, but I think I'm just I'm just a really chill person. Like I I really like my peace, and I've noticed that I get more peace when I'm by myself. So mm. that's why I like to be by myself. Isn't that something? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's true. It is just because people bring their own energies, and energy is a really big thing I have been noticing lately. Like you have to you have to peep other people's energy and yeah. keep yours keep yours safe because you never know. You never you know really do. People. It helps you with your insanity as well. Mm-hmm. I it's just. Being, you want to be comfort. You want to yeah. be comfortable. So since we talking about the comfort and comfortable, what type of makeup do you like to use to get ready for fashion and modeling? Mm, okay. Uh, like brands? What type of brands yep. I like to use? Okay. I love... This is a brand called Milani. And actually, that's not even like a really... That's not like a Fenty brand or whatever. You can find this brand in like any drugstore. But mm. their quality is so good. And it always looks really good on camera. So I go for their uh, foundation. Because they have like a two-in-one concealer foundation. I okay. use it for foundation. And I love their highlight because it makes your it makes your cheeks just glow. Um, but if I'm really doing like for a, a shoot or something like that, I do have an MUA. Um, her name is Maya Alyssa. She's really, really good. She did Shout out to Maya. Yeah, she did makeup today. She's like really amazing. So I, I love her. So I wanted to ask this. What Do you ever feel the pressures of social media to... Um, be a model yes. as far as like likes and views are concerned like what is the world of modeling today uh it is such a uh, such a you have to have a presence online is, the, is does that help you does that help you get in the door if you have a, like a large following yes. it does yes. that's crazy and i knew it did though. well at the same time um i feel like some people let their followings get to their head like you know mm-hmm. what i mean like some girls will see something and be like well i got 10k followers so i only gotta do this and that type of like you know what i mean like they just kind of act more bougie the more followers they have um mm. which i guess makes sense but for me i i don't know i just feel like i i always snatch up good opportunities like if i feel like in my heart like this is a good opportunity i'm gonna go out and do it like no matter what the following count is no matter if this person is well known or not because you never know like this one person could blow up overnight you would never know like that detroit versus everybody like that was not known like five years ago and then that whole brand blew up really overnight so it's stuff like that like you just got to take your chances really you do so when you're doing photo shots for fashion do you use your own uh hairline you know do you use your own brand you yeah know? like any wigs i wear i definitely i install them myself i make them myself so i just don't promote them as much as i should because i don't know i, uh, what I just need to promote more what are you waiting on nothing i <laughs> just need to do it it's so weird it's just such a 
like I said, like being online all the time, I do not like that. Like I really, and it's so kind of funny because I'm a model and I have to be present, but I get tired of my own face. Like I really do. I see the same face every day. Like I do not want to always have to take a photo of myself or always do this and that. But at the same time, it's like I have to tell myself I have to get out of that mindset because I want to get farther where I want to be with my business and with modeling. I can't, you know. I really can't have days like that where I'm just like, oh, I don't feel like being a part of this. Like, I have to be a part of it. You know what's so crazy? Because um, the days you don't feel like doing nothing is the days you produce your best work. That's crazy. Like, yeah. like it, sometimes I notice that. Like, sometimes you, sometimes you have to do what you don't like doing, but you got to enjoy doing it mm-hmm. at the same time. Yeah, it's the days you don't feel like it that count the most. Right, yeah. exactly. For because sure. that's what it is. And don't ever forget that you're building a brand yeah. and you're the brand. Exactly. So you can't get tired of your face. I know. That's you, the crazy and don't, part. Like, you know, it's hard to not be, because you're in the world. We were just talking about this before you got here, like being vain and things like that. Like mm-hmm. I was like, I'm not getting my hair cut. I'm going to make sure that I'm, the work that I'm doing is solely for my soul right now. That's what I, that's yeah. the vibe I'm on right now. But you can't do that. At all. <laughs> you I can't, can't do that. I can't. And you live in a world where your likes and your views validates who you are, which is so, I hate that. Yeah. But it does. And so just remember that. Remember the industry that you chose to be in. Exactly. And push yourself. Because you. it's for you to put. Bitch, I do hair. <laughs> I do my makeup. I'm a model. Like, that's that's sickening. That's the attitude. People you have to be that. assertive. You have to be definitely assertive in this modeling world. Let them, let them know. <laughs> <laughs> so since we talking about this, I'm going to get into this topic. What keeps you going? Like, what keeps you in shape? What keeps you in shape? Not just only physically, but mentally. What keeps you in shape dealing with the two? Because, you, like you say, you do fashion mm-hmm. and modeling. So, what keeps you in a, in a, in a most positive, figurative mind when you're doing both? Um, okay, so here's the thing. There are people that will look at other girls and get insecure by that and be like, oh, like, damn, I'm not like her and blah, blah, blah. If I see another girl, like if I go to a shoe and I see a girl and her abs poking out, I'm like, damn, I got to go to the gym now. Like, I got to get myself in shape. Like, it just that's what kind of motivates me. If I see somebody that I'm like, OK, you looking really good. I know in my in the back of my head, I'm like, OK, you look good. But now nah, that mean I got to low key look better. So now I got to get myself in check. I got to make sure I got everything on. Like, mm. I, I just use people around me because honestly in the modern industry you're around you're surrounded by so many beautiful girls so it's like you you have to be on the same level if not above or otherwise you're just going to be looked over and that's mm-hmm. just what it is and it's you ever seen you said you ever see the female model take a picture with bold edges i would hope they would not do that <laughs> and they got edge control out here <laughs> Uh, you know, it, it get chaotic sometimes backstage. Oh, you know, it's the sweat. Oh. It be it be a lot. But going they're not on. taking pictures though, right? You know, yeah, they do. They, like they, to be shady? <laughs> no, no. Oh wait, well, hold on. Wait, you talking about like if have I ever had bad edge and took pictures of me? No. Or has it what? Have you ever seen uh, just a female? Damn, my edge is gone. Like you just. Like, but I, like I said, I just seen models with cute face and baby, they toes be. I mean, dining room table set toes. I mean, mm. I hate, I, 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 I hate uh, a pretty girl that got a nice face. But when you look at them feet, they got bad feet. I mean, <laughs> is, mm. I, I, I love pretty feet. I love. So pretty you feet. got a fetish, right? Cause, cause okay. I, I, I wouldn't say like you know, a fetish, I but I'm just like, you just like call out feet like that. It's no, like man, you want to talk about? You like? You like <laughs> I met a photographer that had a real, really weird foot fetish. Oh, yeah. it was weird. Yeah, it was weird. I had somebody pay me fifty bucks to um, put my feet in some cereal. Man, if I found they people did. to pay me for feet pics, I promise you, I would do it. I, I think, would. Look, I would do it in a heartbeat. Can we talk? Listen, I battle every single day, every single day. Let me about the OnlyFans Man, thing. What? <laughs> <You're> t- <laughs> I'll be like, listen, I'm about to do it. I gotta do it. Cause low key, I know I could. You know what I'm saying? I, know I can make money off of that. So I'll be like, I'll be thinking me. about it. But I also think about like, okay, what is the future hope? But it seems as though this is what I think. And Corey, please tell me what you think. Okay. And you as well, Zanesha. Go ahead. Is the future oh, going to be okay with the OnlyFans? Because it seems like the more and more we get further into these 20s, it seems like mm-hmm. the more wretched you are, the better you are. Mm-hmm. Like, And not the better you are, but the more money you would make, the more more views you would get, the more money. Like, It just seems like we're going I in mean, that direction. Honestly, but for years, it's very simple. Sex sales. Like, that has been the it's same. It's always been a thing. It's been a, always been a thing. So... I mean, now it's just more openly available uh, to everybody. How I, I feel about it is, is the OnlyFans. Everybody, um, 
Everybody like different content, so mm-hmm. it's, it's <laughs> everybody like well, different. Everybody like different content, so it's the entertainment world. It it some things might not entertain the person, but hey, some people like a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So. Only fans, if that's where it's at. If somebody wants to see you put your feet in the bowl of jello, hey, put them put that sucker but in. But what there, I'm saying, you know? Koi, is okay, so let's use Zenation, for example, right? Mm-hmm. She wants to be, and let me know if I'm wrong, you want to be a respectable model, right? Yeah. Okay. It sounds like. Wait, wait, You answer that kind yeah. of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you want to get ratchet? I mean, what you. What right. You? <laughs> if you decide to have an OnlyFans, will. Um, agencies take you this serious, exactly. you know, would they take you the same? Would they take you serious? Would they be like, no. you know, well, you we, we got this gig for you, but you got to, you know what I'm saying? We want to see if you can do that one thing you did on your one video. And it's like, well, hold on. I think a lot of, I think a lot of, a lot of models come from, some of them come from OnlyFans. I mean, cause, because it's a site for that. Like, I think it's, you find it, it so it's there. Like You don't see nothing wrong with it. No, nah, I mean, you know. Nothing wrong with wanting to do other things outside of OnlyFans. Because once right. you do it, you kind it's out there. It's not I going mean, all, Yeah. Like I it said, is. it's like, like using YouTube for a platform. No, you, no, 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 no. You don't think it's the same as that? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> OnlyFans, you on there having sex, you being naked. Oh, see, oh you been, never know. You don't know OnlyFans? I haven't, I haven't really, you ain't, you're not subscribed to nobody? No. I've never mm. even been on OnlyFans. But I, 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 I'm, I'm aware. I'm only aware of what goes on in there. So I'm not going to sit on here and tell them yeah. lie. You can use it for that, you know, other content. But it's really it focuses on... Explicit content, right? But how did y'all feel about them saying they want to cancel it? Um, I see that they reneged and they're yeah. gonna I bet it. you they did. Yeah, that, yeah. that's where they get all their money from. Why would they? When they said they were gonna cancel it, I was like, why? Because y'all are y'all are making money off of the sex. So why would y'all ban that from right. the site? Y'all not gonna make them money. It like, ain't like y'all putting a gun up to people and telling them to buy that stuff. Yeah, they want to no. buy it. They want to look at it. You know what I'm saying? It's like watching watching. Uh, double explicit porn. I mean, it's extreme to the extreme. Well, yeah, so, honestly, I mean, the thing about OnlyFans, but I, because honestly, when I think, because I'm telling you, I have thought about okay, it a few so times. I'm like, yes, maybe yes, I yes. could do like a ski mask. I don't know, it's me. And I, I got could, some and masks I could, coming, y'all. You know, <laughs> and I could, but then I've thought about it. And I'm like, the difference between OnlyFans is porn is that, okay, like porn is porn stars. You know, everybody, they all fantasy, but OnlyFans, they want to see you doing all that nasty shit. Like, it's yeah. you in particular they want to see. So I'm like, I can't even like do it with a ski mask because they yeah. they want to know it's me. That's the thing. So that's the thing the about it. The only thing that turn me off about it if I see my favorite cele- female celebrity and her see her neck, I'm like, ugh. Like, <laughs> and see, that's the thing. You want it takes away the fantasy. Like, it that's takes why. it, and mm-hmm. so that's why I think I, something. If I was gonna do it, I would have did it. But something in me is like, nah, it's something greater. And I don't have mm-hmm. nothing against you know, please don't because I'm a freak just like the rest of everybody else. You know what I'm saying? It's it's nothing, Ain't but no hey. it's yeah. You know, so I'm, there's no shame, but I just don't. I don't want people to see me doing that. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> like I just want the person I'm doing it with to see me act no like shame that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but I'm not doing that. You shit. have to get. Why you, you gotta record me? I gotta you, concentrate. You gotta, I gotta make it a thing. You, know you gotta have some type of privacy though. Yeah, like, yeah. And I, like, also, I, give a lot of I kinda, I like the thought of selling the fantasy more than you seeing the real uh-huh. thing. Like I kind of like. I think I like the more of being a tease more than actually. You know, showing you all the goods. Oh, but, but let's put this out there. However, if you did want to spend a couple of dollars, like some money, <laughs> <laughs> you know, then we take a DM. You always say slot in the DMs for personal. Slot, yeah, oh, <laughs> for some light. Yeah. But, um, so tell us, um, what is new? What things you have new coming up as far as fashion and modeling? Um, uh, there's a really good company or. I don't want to call them a company, but they're like more of an organization. They're called Deviate, and mm-hmm. I love them the most because they always work with really good people. And they were like one of the first people that put me on to doing shows and stuff like that. So they have a new fashion show coming up called Stomping Grounds, and I cannot wait for that. Um, I don't know when the show date is right now. I just know casting is the 13th, so I can't wait to go there. Because in their last show, that's how I, you know, I met uh, Big Sean because his organization, they were working with him. Mm. And so it's just people like that that I love working with because it's like I can continue to grow and really make it somewhere outside of Detroit like I love Detroit but I want to make it outside of here honestly of like my focus is right. staying in Detroit now can I ask you a good question have yeah. you because I know a lot of fashion models do this a lot have you ever thought about doing cho- uh, choreography like dance and things of that nature um, I don't know how good I'd be at choreographing the dance. I think I could pick up a two step or two if somebody <laughs> wanna choreograph it for me. Yeah. Like dancing is fun. I love any form of art. Any form of art I love it. Like I just love I see it. a lot of fashion models uh do it themselves. They dance a lot. I had a model on here, Miss Model Nikki. She dances and stuff oh, too. Oh perfect. So um I, that's how I have to ask you, like, you know, because, you know, models usually go that way, too, to dance and it's it's art. It's artistry. Yeah. yeah. It's artistry. So like I said, do you, 
Do you ever get to a time to the point in your life when you just have when you're not doing nothing at all? You just do you meditate? Do you pray? Or do oh, you? I do yoga every single morning because really? I feel like that. If you do yoga in the morning, it just sets your tone. It sets your body right. Like your energy just feels more balanced for the day because you're getting all of that energy flowing through you, right? So I try to do yoga like every morning just so I know I'm a little bit more balanced. <sighs> But I want to ask this question. Like, <laughs> what type of man do you like? Oh, my God. <laughs> I have just sworn off light skin. So, sorry. Lord. I had to. <laughs> I had to swear. I'm sorry. I, you said you were with light skin dudes? I uh, Yeah, my ex was a light skin. I, and I, I do have a tendency to uh, go after me a tall light skin. But I think I'm done with that now. I'm I'm over it. I'm over that hump. So you going to so you came to the what to the brown skin chocolate brothers where you at? Like in the middle like You said that I canceled them? No, are you are you into them What now? you looking oh. for in this next journey of a man yeah. or a relationship? <sighs> if it's, is I it? am not a looking for a man. Oh. But if one wanted to pop up and show me something I'm open to it. I'm open to somebody showing me something, but I'm not looking for nobody. Well, can I ask this question? Mm -hmm. And you married. Mm -hmm. So what? Because I think this is what we need to start asking ourselves. We keep jumping in out of these relationships and not saying mm. you jumping in out. I'm talking about me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, what are we looking for in relationships? And I'm asking this to the people. I don't know how many people on the Facebook, but I'm asking y'all too. How? What do we? What do you look for in a relationship? Because I think that I've been getting in relationships, but I don't even know what I want out of it. Yeah. You know, same. Well, how That's can I even I expect like, them to do something? I don't even know well, what I want. I got two things. I'm uh, one thing that I love about me and my wife. We got great communications. Communication. Mm. So she's like my best friend put overall. Okay. Yeah. But I I want to feel I, I, not st stability, but I want to. Oh, stability. I do. Yeah, yeah no, so I, do. That, that, I want stability. I want, stable. Stable. I want to know you're gonna be there. Like, yeah. what's up? right. So, but it's it's more than that. though I just came point it out but okay you want to have great you want to have great chemistry yeah you yeah. want to have great chemistry because you could be with somebody you really don't like them you want to get the, the thing is i like the chase of the three i like to get to know the person mm -hmm. i want to get to know you more <laughs> you know what i'm saying i, I, I like that i like the one, i want to get you get to know you more yeah just because i've been with her for a while and we married i still there's some things about her i still want to know you know mm. what i'm saying that you think you know, but you don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, that's why I, I always have tell. No idea. Right. That's why I tell. It's like they say black people don't like therapy a lot, but I love therapy. I okay. love going to see therapy. I think therapy. black people can't afford therapy. Is what it is. That shit is expensive. I, I wouldn't say. I, I wouldn't expensive. say that, but because you know you got all type of. I mean, program. there's a well, there's yeah, a lot of stigma around therapy in the black community. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, you crazy? You going to see? You know? But I think we're moving in a direction where we're not like that anymore. I think a lot of people are open, more, much more open to therapy now. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. 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 So it it kind of relaxes the mind because, like I said, you be going through a whole lot in the week. You are you know, fashion modeling and things of that nature. Fashion. You need to, you know you need you need to just take your mind off a lot of things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just want to ask you this question because I was thinking about it. What type of Outfits do you like to wear when you model? What's your favorite one? Um, if I am on a show, I want something really big and extravagant. Like if I got a, a gown with a nice little train through it, I can oh. like whip while I'm on stage. I love I love anything that I mean I'm you know a little bit more attention to me. Um, in general, I kind of feel like I show a lot of skin in real life. Like I just like to you know show skin. I'm pretty I'm pretty comfortable in my own skin, so I don't mind showing it. But on stage, I like to have something big and extravagant that like. That's kind of like a showstopper. Like okay. everybody's like, "Oh, damn! What is what she got on? Mm. Hell yeah, what she got on? Come on!" <laughs> I, I I identify with that. I feel much much better when I have on a scandal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like less less is so much more. Oh, I mean, like I say, this <laughs> uh, nudity is art too. So <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? You know, nudity is art. But since we're talking about that, uh, I have somebody who's from Detroit. Mm -hmm. We all know her, Lizzo. Ooh. Uh huh. She has a tendency to post certain pictures on Instagram, and I and I love it. I love it because it shows how much confidence she have. Yeah. But at the same time, her mental state that like, it's not fair because they body shamed her a lot. And I don't like that because, in my opinion, I feel like first of all, I mean. It is. It's all about body shaming, though, because at the same time, if you see a skinny girl doing the same exact thing that Lizzo doing, you don't got no problem with it. But now you see Lizzo doing, and now it's like a big thing. Like, oh, why don't she put some clothes on? But my but issue was with, just on this other girl page, and she ain't got nothing on. So my issue with Lizzo is you are 
you're representing the big girls in such a great way mm -hmm. and you're showing to be you know to be body positive and she does that but then as soon as they body shame her then she crying I cannot take the crying number one you from Detroit so stand up and number two you signed up to be a celebrity so there'll be there'll be a lot of criticism mm -hmm. do I hate when she was crying I'm like why is you crying and why is the world gotta see you cry we I need you to be strong you being like that is not inspiring yeah but at the same time she's still a human and but, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure while we thinking she crying over like one comment she gets thousands of comments every day probably even more dms that are really really well, mean towards but her. when you enter the thing of uh, when you when you a famous person you gotta respect that you gotta respect that you gotta respect you gotta thick skin like, how, you gotta respect you, that how do you grab uh, my mic it's not on yes it is y'all can hear me oh how do you and this has always been an issue of mine how do you grab your phone and cry like why Bro, is you i can never record I'm myself not crying that's so like, weird that is weird though like how are you looking at like, yourself on camera crying i that just is feel weird. like well, let like, me call like, my mama like, like you said some some things are good marketing Mm. Yeah, I think that was a bad move for Lizzo. I love her down, but pick a side. Is you is you strong and you a black woman and you standing in your weight and you being that way, or are you weak and you can't take the heat? She can't be strong, but like have a weak moment. Yeah, but like do it in private. <laughs> like how Beyonce be doing everything in private. Yeah, like yeah. that's we need that from you. We also, need to see you in that light. As a celebrity, maybe it's just me, but like. A broke person can't tell me nothing. Like, if your bank account don't match mine, I'm sorry. Your comment don't matter to me. It just don't. And you're not, just you're don't. not even a real person. Yeah, like, it really just bitch, don't Bitch, I'm Lizzo. Grammy, not, like, Grammy award winning. Yeah. Like, what? And don't nobody know who little Timothy online commented on my well, stuff is. Freaky like, 0089. Zero, zero, no, for real. <laughs> like, who well, is you know what? Uh, but, but still, I, I get that. But you got to understand the power th that people have from the tongue. Because mm -hmm. yeah. a, a lot of a person that's beneath you, them be the main ones talking. But what yep. they say can be very effective. It can. That one negative comment could really it could fuck with you. But that's what I need us to be strong and also be like knowing what we get ourselves into. Like being famous, having an opinion, it comes with all of that. So I just we want people to be more equipped. Yeah, but, and also I would feel like uh, we we talked about meditation earlier, and I feel like that's yeah. something that's really helped because it uh, it allows you to identify the different emotions you're feeling. Like when you look at something it's like okay this caused this reaction out of me and you take a moment and you stop and think okay why did this cause it and usually you you right. keep scrolling down you know through yourself you figure out mm -hmm. the root of it right. and that's how more how you get over it quick quick question because i want to say something about like the body shame okay i watch this person a lot okay how do you feel about kevin samuels do you watch kevin samuels mm, i don't mm -hmm. think so who is he? Kevin Samuels is a is a YouTube. He's a um <coughs> I think he's a um I want to say he's a consultant, an image consultant. Is okay. that the guy where the girls go and ask? Yes. Him, yes oh him. my gosh, Loki, what they, what he's he be Loki doing? funny. <laughs> okay, he's so he hilarious, man. Like he, he 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 be he he be horn women. He I mean, do. He no. He, he put women so in good. a spot though, but he he just you know. Is it like defaming? Well, it, no, it, because it, it I, derogatory. Like, like, some of them like, girls, I feel like, like, why are you coming on his show asking that? You know, he about to give you a straight yeah. blunt answer. Like, you know, he finna say like you coming one, on there. Like one girl, oh, I gotta watch one it. One girl was you. she was she was heavy set, and, <laughs> so and she was bigger. Yeah, she, she was, was heavy okay. set because I don't shame heavy set women because I love my wife. Mm -hmm. okay. My wife is beautiful and voluptuous. I love my wife. So he he. The girl was she was she was at, at has expectations like you know I should have a a high valued man a man that's making money a high valued man and he was like well how can you have all these expectations is you big as a Dallas Cowboy <laughs> linebacker you know what I'm saying like that's you know I'm like damn like, but at the same time I'm like whoa you know you know when you know what's coming yeah because you know? a lot of times uh, women be wanting this man with all of this money but she ain't even got herself together so it's yeah. like what that look like and at the same time you're gonna attract who you Ooh, are and where you so are in life that's the thing like you're gonna attract you're gonna attract where you are in life if you're at a high frequency a high uh quality person you're gonna attract a high quality well coming. i need to reconsider some things but I don't know. <laughs> no seriously you probably don't need like if your uh frequency is high you're gonna attract somebody with that same high frequency Maybe they don't look exactly how you want them to look, but they they match you. Yep. In the same way, if you if you uh, more of a negative person, you're gonna attract somebody that's just as negative as you. That's just how it works. Yes. But I, like I said, I love to go more and more on this topic. So mm -hmm. for the people out there that wants to get in contact with Zanasia, why? How can they do so? Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Zanasha underscore white. That's Z-A-N-A-I-S-H-A underscore white like the color. And 
that is pretty much the only way you can contact me. I mean, my email's there if you guys want to email me. My DMs are always open. I don't really... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't now before like I end this episode, is there anything you want to include in Chaos before I close out? Um, You guys already know the vibes. Um, We definitely talk. Shout out to Zanation. Shout out to my boy Corey for having me. Thank you so much. And you know you can find oh, me on sure. Instagram, Chaos Talks. Well, you know, we just get a little crazy. All right. That's the Press for Conversation podcast. I'm your host, Mr. Laidback Corey. Thank you for tuning in. Peace. Yay.